Welcome back, scholars. Now that we've found all of our highlighted topic sentences, the next step is to write our two repeated topic sentences, which I know that together form the tell me. Yes, one main idea. Remember, we're always asking ourselves when we read an informational text, what is the main idea of this text? Let's go back and look at our highlighted topic sentences. Hmm. So I'm looking at my topic sentences and I notice that my first one is talking about how they are all social insects. And I read that ants live in underground nests, life in a honeybee hive is busy, and termites build tall nests in wood or soil. So these social insects all live in these big groups like nests or hives called colonies. So my first topic sentence, repeated topic sentence is, Ants, bees, and termites are social insects that live together in large groups called colonies. Go ahead and pause your video and write that now. Great, scholars. Now, this is a little bit different. I want you to think about the other repeating ideas in the rest of this text. They might not have been all topic sentences, but I heard a lot of ideas that these insects had in common and might be important to include in my second repeated topics, topic sentence. So now I want you to think. We have our first repeated topic sentence. Now, I want you to think about all those repeating ideas that we read in that, in the rest of the text. What else is important to know about social insects? You are going to start off by writing each insect. So on our Google form, Start writing each insect. And remember, my repeated topic sentences are part of my main idea, so they have to be complete sentences. What is important to know about each insect in my text? Elay Masters, I'm going to give us about two minutes to pause your video and write down a complete second repeated topic sentence in your Google Forms. Take a moment to again read through the repeating ideas in the rest of the paragraphs as well as your topic sentences. Get set and Go.
10 more seconds, scholars. Let's look back at our paragraphs. We already wrote in our first repeated topic sentence that these different insects are social insects that live in big colonies like nests and hives. But notice in the rest of the paragraphs, most of the other details have to do with what each insect in that colony has to do. For example, for ants, there are worker ants and larger worker ants that have a special job. For bees, there's one queen and a lot of worker bees. And in, for termites, there are worker termites and soldier termites. Scholars, that tells me that another important repeating idea that I should include in my repeated topic sentence is that each insect has a special job in the colony. Elay Masters, show me a yes if you wrote something in my repeated topic sentence too that has to do about insects having a special job, purpose, or role. Nice thinking, friends. If you did not write that, go ahead and pause your video and make sure that you write something about how each insect has a special job now. Great. Now, ELA Masters, just like we've been practicing for this week, we are going to be taking our two topic sentences and putting them together to form one main idea. It should be at least one complete sentence. We got a little bit tricked on Tuesday and some of us wrote a main topic instead of a complete sentence for the main idea. So now I want to know what is the main idea of the text bug power? Remember to think about the two repeated topic sentences that we wrote earlier. How can I put them together to form one main idea? ELA Masters, you have about two more minutes to write down one main idea that is at least one complete sentence in this box. You will not be able to move on unless you write one complete sentence. Get ready and go. About 30 more seconds, scholars. Remember, one complete sentence in this box. Put together these two repeated topic sentences.
This is how I combine these two repeated topic sentences to form one main idea. In one sentence, the main idea of a bug power is social insects live in colonies where each insect has a special job. So notice how I might have changed some words a little bit, but I still had that first part about how I'm talking about that social insects live together in large groups. And this second part, that each insect has a special job. ELA Masters, go ahead and double check if you have these two parts from our two repeated topic sentences. You don't need to have written exactly what I wrote in my main idea, but make sure that you do write a complete sentence and you include those two parts. Pause your video if you need to double check that you've written a complete sentence now. Great job, friends. ELA Masters, can you believe that it is almost the end of week four of VISTA Virtual Learning? Today is Thursday, which has me thinking about Throwback Thursday. By the way, the secret word is throwback. This is a picture of some of our scholars from third grade at Maryvale. I want to know, what is one thing that you miss from school at VCP since you've been at home? Feel free to write a private comment to your teachers or share with your teachers during office hours today. Let's go ahead and write our secret word. Throwback. Great. ELA Masters, now we are going to practice finding the main idea if we were asked in a multiple choice question. Can you say easy peasy? We've practiced this a lot over the last couple days, so I know you are going to rock it. What is the main idea of bug power? Can you tell me what Key word should I highlight in my question? Louder. Yes, this question is asking about the main idea. So I know that I need to look at my TS box. Hmm, what is the main idea of bug power? A, social insects. Whoa, I am so glad that you showed me a thumbs down because scholars, is letter A a complete sentence? Can you say no way? Right, this was our main topic and it is not a complete sentence. So right away, this is not a main idea. A main idea is always a complete sentence. This answer choice is too general. B, ants often live in underground nests. Well, I know right away, this text was a, a, about a lot more insects than just ants. It was about bees and termites too, social insects. So this answer choice is too specific. C, social insects live in colonies where each insect has a special job. Let's double check. Does this answer choice talk about my big ideas in my first topic sentence, that they live together in large groups called colonies? Yes. And does it talk about how each insect has a special job in the colony? It does. So far, this sounds right. So let's double check letter D. Millions of social insects may live in one colony. Hmm. This was talking about how social insects live in large groups, which was part of my main idea. But I'm still missing that important detail about how each insect has a special job in the colony. And I know that a majority of my paragraphs talked about that big idea. Since this does not include that part of my main idea, that repeated topic sentence that I wrote, this is too general. There is too little information in this answer choice. 
That means that the correct answer is C. Show me a yes if you already knew that. Let's go ahead and add that to our Google form. And make sure that you double check all of your answers before clicking next. If you miss the secret word, make sure you go back in the video to find it. We'll see you on the next page.